Yo, welcome back everybody to a brand new PDCG Live Paldean Fates deck video, and today we're going to be looking at a Miss Magius Lunala deck one last time, because of course, Lunala is going to be a rotating. Lunala is a card from the Celebration set. It is one of the coolest cards we have in the format with its Lunar Pain attack, where you double the number of damage counters on each of your opponent's Pokemon. So the idea of this deck is you want to spread damage across the board with Miss Magius's Eerie Voice attack, putting two damage counters on each of your opponent's Pokemon. This bypasses both Manaphy and Jirachi, and when Miss Magius gets knocked out at full HP, you put eight damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. So Miss Magius can get a lot of damage on the board. Once we spread a lot of damage, we can then come in with Lunala's Lunar Pain attack with a reversal or a double turbo, double the number of damage counters on the board, and take a bunch of knockouts at once. A lot of the time, you can take like six prizes or more in a single turn with Lunala. And I've done a video on this deck before. It did get some new upgrades over time. Counter Catcher is a great card to play in here if you're trying to trap something in the active spot while you spread damage. You can also force something in the active spot that you want to attack into the Miss Magius to take the eight damage counters. And there is also uh, TM Devo, which is really good against Charizard. I don't know if this deck can beat Charizard without the TM Devo because you do have Lunala, but Charizard has so much health that it's actually hard to KO it with Lunala. A lot of the time you have to do double Lunala. You have to Lunala twice in a game to win the game sometimes, but to make the win con a bit easier, we can also just spread damage with Miss Magius and then clean up with Lunala and then TM Devo to win the game. So we still need the TM Devo to beat Charizard. 330 HP, it's just too much health. Reversal Energy is nice in the deck too. You can work with Miss Magius, you can work with Lunala. You can even attack with Lunala's other attack. Psychic Shot that does 130 damage and then 30 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Not really going to come up too often, but it might in some scenarios. And I'm super excited to play the spread deck one last time here before Miss Magius, well, Miss Magius stays around. Lunala, however, will be rotating. But before we get in the video, shout out to the sponsor, Card Cavern TCG. Of course, if you're looking for any PCG Live pack codes, get them over at Card Cavern. Card Cavern sells codes line for the cheapest. So if you're looking for any set like the main set, Paldean Fates, or an alert set like 151, Paradox Rift, or you want to get some IRL Pokemon TCG product and singles, Card Cavern sells all that over there. If you get anything at Card Cavern at the checkout, use my discount code, code LDF to get yourself a 5% discount on your order. Help the channel, help yourself out, and help our Card Cavern. So shout out to Card Cavern, check them out. Use code LDF, link down below. Also, check out the Shovel Squad down below and my second YouTube channel for some extra content. Um, there should be a video going out later today where we look at some more post-rotation lists. So definitely get hyped for that. So yeah, here is the full deck list view for the deck. I am playing the Bibrel School of an Engine. Pretty simple stuff. I mean, the deck is very low maintenance. Miss Magius is a stage one that only needs one energy to attack. Very low maintenance. The only issue with this deck is setting up the Lunala. You need to get Rare Candy Lunala. I'm not playing Cosmoem in the deck, the stage one line of Cosmog Lunala, which, I don't know, looking back, maybe we should play that in the deck. It probably wouldn't be terrible. But we're not playing it. Uh, playing four Iono, three Research, one Bruno. Iono's really good. You can just constantly shrink your opponent's hand while you spam the spread attacks. We got two Super Odd and a Rescue Carrier for our recovery. Very important to have the recovery cards in the deck to get your stuff back because your opponent is constantly taking prizes, pretty much. Uh, six Psychic, two DT, two Reversal. Uh, yeah, I like the energy count quite a bit. I don't know if I'd really change it. I like having the, the four energies for the Lunala. Each of those two energies, DT and Reversal, do work with Lunala. We're playing three Artisan, four Level Ball, because Level Ball can find Miss Magius. And we have the Nest Ball, just more ways to get basics. You, you want to put basics in play. Ideally, you want to get like two Mistrevious and a Bidoof down on your first turn. It's a pretty good turn one if you can do that. Um, yeah, we're not playing Boss. We have Counter Catcher. We don't really need to use Boss in this deck or anything like that. Um, pretty straightforward. Let's just go short off on live, and uh, I don't know. Hopefully, we can win some games with Lunala. I'm excited to play Lunala and take a bunch of prizes at once. All right, against Charizard. Now, they are playing Penny in their deck. I saw they mulliganed, and I saw a Penny, which is kind of scary, not going to lie, but uh, we do have a good matchup against Charizard, so it shouldn't matter too much. We have Cosmog. We have a really good start, actually, which is nice. Let's see if they get another VIP. This is, like, the one matchup. I don't want... Uh, I want them to get double VIP. Do they have it? They fail the Mew. Could just be a pass. It is a pass. Okay. What do we draw? Mystery Vis. It actually sucks they went first, though, because they get the early attack, which is a little annoying. Nothing I can do about it. We can get a good setup here, though. It yeah, has a good turn. Set our board up a little bit. Play the Iono. Hopefully, I don't have a rare candy Charizard and stuff. That'd be pretty bad. That's, like, the only issue, because we are going second, then get rare candy Charizard off. Okay. Interesting. Decent little hand. I'll send turn. No reason to attach to the Mistrevious. We'll see if my opponent's got Rare Candy Charizard, Rare Candy Pidgeot off of an Iona with a lone Mew in play. They can use Artisan, um, which will help a little bit, obviously. All right, there's Mew. 
Battle VIP. All right, that's that's good. That's they can't play that. That's not the first turn anymore. That's what I like to see. They got the artisan. Yeah, did they get Rickney Charizard? I don't want them to. I want to make sure that we're getting the first attack off. That's it'd be pretty bad if they don't. If they have they have it. All right, eight cards in hand. Let's see it. Nest Ball. Okay, that's not it. They could just get Rodom here. They fail the Nest Ball. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. That's very interesting. They failed it. Okay, they passed. Nice. They didn't get it. All right, what do we top deck? Skullvit. Um, now, Bibberl for one. I can maybe hit the Lunal off this Bibberl. No! My other Super Rod. Oh, come on. That sucks. That's really annoying that we had to draw that. We are limited to our Pokemon recovery now, which is actually really bad. That's really unfortunate we had to draw that. Thankfully, though, we got a ton of Ms. Magius, which is sick. That really sucks. We drew that, though. <laughs> Man, so unfortunate. All right. We'll just hit him with another eerie voice. There you go. We get some damage on the board still, which is good, but losing double rod is really bad. We have one rescue carrier for our recovery. We have to be very careful with what we lose now. All right, there's Mysterious Tail. Can they finally get there? No, they fail the tail. Okay, that's good. Are they going to do anything else? I mean, they don't have it again. It's another turn of Eerie Voice, which is good for me. The more damage we get on the board, the better. They have a boss. That sucks. Now I can't move my baby roll. Unless I draw a DT or switch one time. Nope. I can't use that. Okay. Maybe we'll get switch off this Industrious Incisors. We got Iono. There we go. We'll take it. Obviously, I can't use that Team Devo. We got to save it. No switch. DT, though. We got Rare Candy, but no Lunala. And we're an Ultra Ball. Where are they at, though? That sucks. All right. Well, hopefully my opponent doesn't get it. I mean, they, okay. They probably should get Rare Candy Charizard now because I did Iono them. Yeah. Rip. That kind of sucks that we didn't move Bibrol. Maybe I shouldn't have attached Miss Magius. No, I needed to, right? Yeah. We got unlucky. That's unfortunate. There it is. Rare Candy Pidgey. Rare Candy Zard. We know we have Tim Devo in the deck, so that's good. I think we're still in a good spot regardless. All right, we'll see what they Mew for here. I'd be very surprised if they whiffed the KO. They should be at least able to get a Rare Candy or an Ultra Ball off this Mew, which is perfect for the Pidgeot. Escape Rope. Okay. If they Rope here, what would I give them? Probably a Miss Magius, to be honest, right? Ooh, they mentioned another basic. Let's go. Maybe I just give them the other Bibberol. No, but I have no rod left. I have no way to get Bibberol back. I think I have to give them Miss Magius if they rope. I could give them Cosmog because I have Carrier, I guess. Maybe, that might be okay, actually. It might be okay to give them Cosmog, actually, because we have the Carrier. But I think we should just give them Miss Magius. It's fine. Just give them Miss Magius. It's not a big deal. Let's see what they do here. Are they going to play the rope? They're probably going to play the rope. Honestly, though, it, I actually wouldn't hate them roping because I don't want to lose my Bibberol because we have no rod left. So it's like, honestly, fine. Yeah, have my Miss Megius. They're going to take the eight damage counters, which is good for TM Devo. Are they going to bench anything else, though? Nope. Okay, Burning Darkness. Sure. And they take the eight damage counters. Okay. We'll see what we're able to do this turn. We are down two Ionos, so we'll see if we get another Iono. We don't really have to Iono here, though, to be honest. So I am... My hand's a little bricky, though. That's the only downside. Don't have Skullvit either. Grab a Cosmog. Burn this. Bibs for one. What do you got for me? Perfect. Ah, uh, should I save that? Because we could get Lunala or Candy. Now nah, I'll play it. Nah, we kind of have to, yeah. Gotta play the Iono. Gotta keep up the Iono pressure. There's stuff in there. All right, here we go. Eerie voice. Get more damage on. We need one more turn of eerie voice here so we can de-evolve this. The 7 HP is kind of annoying, but we can go Lunala and then Team Devo. We can, like, do it in reverse order. I know they play Penny, though, and that's, like, the one card I'm a little scared of. But honestly, Penny's probably not that big of a deal. Shouldn't be anyways. Let's see if they get Charmeleon here. No, Rare Candy Charizard. Yep, there it is. Sure. They have three candies down already. So there's one Rare Candy left in their deck. 
So a couple more turns of spread, and we can hit them with the TM Devo. I do want to counter catcher the other Charizard on the bench, and then they're forced to take 80 damage on that. So that's what I want to do next. I want to bring in the other Charizard. They're putting all the energy in play. Okay, sure. That's interesting. Hmm. They lost on a Charmander. All right. Yeah, because once I de-evolve them, like, they can't do much. So, all right, that's fine. Depending on how this goes, Lunala could also win us the game, too. Maybe we don't need Team Devo. Now the Pidgeot. But the Pidgeot can't watch out Lunala. Hmm. There's a lot of interesting interactions here. I do need Carrier because I did prize another Miss Magius line. That's not a good top deck. Oh, boy. Okay, let's thin. It's going to be really hard without any Super Rods, though. All right, we got Carrier and Rarekini Lunala. Nice. Question is, should I should I play the rare candy now? Because the issue if I if I go rare candy now, my opponent just probably goes. They can just boss it, right? I didn't get counter catcher either, which is what I also wanted. I could go Lunala this turn though, and just do the double damage now. We can knock out Mew, and then we can go Devo the following turn. That doesn't seem bad either. So if I go if I go Lunala now, how many energies do I have left? I still have some psychics. If I go Rick and Lunala now, I go TM Devo. I go f I go double damage now. Knock out Charizard. Knock out Mew. And then the following turn, we knock these out with TM Devo. Honestly, yo, I kind of like that. Okay, yeah, maybe we do go Lunala now. I'm actually so down. We should have the other Lunala in the deck too, so I kind of like doing this now, sure. This matchup is more or less about using TM Devo, less about Lunala. So yeah, I'm, I'm down to do this. Take some prizes here. I also don't want, the, I don't want them to penny the Mew, so this is fine. Then we go TM Devo, knock those things out next turn. Seems good. 400 damage on that Charizard, get cooked. All right, let's see what our prizes are. 6v5, Mischievous, Rope, and Level Ball. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, we're chilling. Because now we can go TM Devo. They did ditch a Charmander. So, like, I don't know. We'll see what they grab. They could get Lost Vacuum. But now we can go Iono potentially with TM Devo, which is the big thing I want to do. Iono plus TM Devo is huge here. That's their play. They're not even going to bench anything else. All right, well, yeah, we can just cook them with the TM Devo here. That's the plan. 80 HP. Yeah, okay, cool. If I whiff TM Devo, it's a little awkward, but we got time. It's got to be Iono TM Devo, right? Yeah. The other rare candy is not in the deck. Huh. Okay. Do the Iono. Maybe could have Ultra Ball there. Didn't want to get rid of anything other than maybe the Mana Fee. Didn't get it. Okay, well, Bibro first. Didn't get it. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, if I don't get it, it's not the end of the world, but I do need it right here, right now. No, we whiffed it. <sighs> I can't even do counter catcher. Okay, unfortunate to whiff on our end. Damn it. That's pretty bad. Okay, we can try again next turn. That's pretty bad. I whiffed it there. Not good. Maybe I should have just researched the last hand. Honestly, maybe I should have. Oh, man, that sucks we whiffed. I don't know if they have another Charmander in the deck, though. That's a huge whiff, though. I needed to do it right there and then. Okay, I'll see what they have now. F boss. Ooh. Okay, yeah, go. I actually don't care if they kill. I don't even need Lunala anymore anyways. So actually, that's perfectly fine. You want to kill my Cosmog. I am totally okay with that. I have no way to get a Lunala into play now, but I don't think we need Lunala anymore to win this. So that's fine with me. We just kill the Manaphy, actually. Is that just the better play here? And then just TM Devo next turn for game? Yeah, honestly, I'm kind of down. We could do it now in reverse. That probably doesn't really matter. But they could also go Penny the Manaphy. Yeah, I think we knock out the Manaphy now and then just move Team Devo the next turn. I do think that's correct here. Yeah, that's correct. I think we just go Team Devo next turn for game. Because they could Penny the Manaphy. We know they have Penny. They could, like, Penny the Manaphy, bench a Charmander, and then I might be in trouble. So, there's her candy, Lunala. But your boy is dead. All right, we should have game. They have no way to stall me. They can't win this turn. I just TM Devo. It's guaranteed. They could Iono me, but I have Bibbrel, so I, I think we win. Unless they have a way to heal. I don't think they do. I think we win. I think we win. Should be GG's. They might not see the TM Devo coming either. But yeah, we do have a game.
boss. That's fine. Doesn't matter. Kill my beebs all you want. Yep, GG's. Okay, we won. Yeah, Charizard, not a bad matchup. This is like a matchup where you can't really use Lunala like to win the game, but you do use it to then use TM Devo. That's kind of the, the steps you want to do, right? You know, Miss Maggie's Lunala, Team Devo, stuff like that. So that's how you do it. Research. TM Devo. Attach. Devolution. Let's go. GG's, Mr. Charizard. Nice try. I mean, if they set up a third Charizard, it would have got sketchy, I guess. I would have probably countercatched it, though, and then tried to hit it with the Miss Magia, so they would have taken the eight damage, so they would have baited into the TM Devo. I don't think they saw the TM Devo coming. Like, that's kind of cool. I guess, like, with this deck, they, they the opponent might not expect the TM Devo, which is kind of nice. Because when you're playing a spread deck, your opponent's like, they're not playing TM Devo. Joke's on you. I got it. It's in there. It's always in there. All right, might be against Lost Tina, maybe, judging from the sleeves. Our start's honestly not very good. So, yeah, great. I got somehow only one good basic. That's not good. I have Bruno. Wugtrio. Wait, what? We're playing against Wugtrio? Okay, this matchup should be pretty good then. We don't even need... Oh, they're playing the Spide Ops. Okay, we definitely don't want to bench Bibberol then. That's a bad idea. Benching Bibberol here would be a very bad idea. I think we have to play the Bruno and just go for it. It's kind of sketchy, I guess. Oh my god, they have everything, bro. Got all the basics. Chill, bro. They got everything. They got it all. Okay. Hmm. Top deck's not doing me any favors. I mean, they can't mill me this turn, so we'll just pass. Can't bench mana fee. We can't really do much uh, right now, unfortunately. This is actually kind of scary. I mean, if they start milling me, though, it gets pretty tough. But we can actually win with Lunala. That's honestly probably our win con here is to just win with the Lunala. Yeah, winning with Lunala, it's a win con. One of our win cons to win with Lunala. They're going to the Spite Ops. Okay, sure. We can play the Rope. Iono? Okay, that's a good Iono. My hand was pretty bad, so we will happily take an Iono. I need to get Pokemon in play. That's... Uh, what? The, where are my draw cards at? This hand sucks. Bro, this hand's so bad. I don't want to bench Bidoof. It's such a bad idea. Oh my gosh. Grief. How did the Iono give me no playable cards apart from Bidoof? Okay, we got another Misdreavus. There we go. I think we have to bench... A Bibberl, I don't have a choice. I don't want to do this. I'm going to get stuck. I do have two switch cards, I guess, so it's not the end of the world. But they mill them, though. I'm kind of farmed. All right, just going to Eerie Voice and see where this takes us. We're just going to try to win Lunala. Really unfortunate that I have to play a Bibberl down. I was gonna, I was trying to play the game without putting Bibberl. My board was going to be Miss Magius's and Cosmogs. But I have to play Bibberl, so unfortunately, I got to do what I got to do. We'll see if my opponent knocks me out here, though. I mean, they just need energy. They knock me out. They do take 80 damage. We do have TM Devo. Plus Lunala as potential win cons this matchup. Like, this matchup should be pretty good. Just kind of annoying that we have to put a Pokemon in play against Trap, which I'm not a big fan of. But we're also going to try to avoid taking prizes so we don't give them reversal energy. That's also part of my plan here. All right. We have to take 80 damage, which is good. I mean, I might as well bench the other Bidoof, I guess. I don't have a choice, do I? As long as we have our two switches, not the end of the world. We have some outs. See what we draw. Nice. Let's go. Now I don't have to bench Bidoof. Hallelujah. Let's go. Ooh, I whiffed Miss Magius, though. Not so hallelujah. Hmm. I mean, I could get school of it, but that's like, again, I don't want to get stuck in the active. I mean, I already have Bibberol in play. At this point, it probably doesn't matter. Bibbles already in play. That's like the worst case scenario. Whatever. We already got Bibs in play. We might as well bench Skullvit. I hate to do it, but it doesn't matter at this point. So, okay. Got Miss Magius. Okay, nice. Ooh, Countercatcher. I mean, I need all these cards, right? I think I got to get rid of the Countercatcher. Unfortunate. I thought about playing it because I could Countercatcher Wug Trio up, and we know they can't mill me. But there's no point because Switch and uh, TM Devo are very, very, very important cards in this matchup. Maybe not so much the TM Devo, but we might need to play the TM Devo. So I might as well just keep it. There's no reason to get rid of it. I'm like, whatever. We might as well keep the TM Devo around. <laughs> I definitely need the Switch. There ain't no way I'm getting rid of that. 
it's fine. They knock me out, they take 80 again. I guess eventually this thing's gonna get knocked out by Miss Magius' ability, which kind of sucks. Hmm. I want them to stay ahead in the prize trade though, so that I, yeah, I don't wanna give them reversal energy. That's the thing I wanna avoid. I don't wanna give them reversal, but we are at the point now where we could try to just, I wanna, I think we just try to win Lunala. Like, I think Lunala is definitely a potential out to winning this game. See, they do eight cards in hand. Are they going to knock me out? The Spy Ops is annoying because it does put a lot of pressure on me, which kind of sucks. Nothing I can really do about that, though. I take 80 here. As long as we stay behind in the prize trade, that's fine. I think I like, put a DT on that work trio now. I could TM Devo. That's not going to knock anything out, though, other than the Spy Ops. We don't really care about. Super Odd is a good card to draw. Get the lads back. An artisan. Honestly, at this point, I could get Lunala, which might not be a bad idea. I'm going to have to do Skullvid here. I don't want to put the switch back in the deck, but if I can avoid shuffling, and then the thing will stay at the bottom. Yeah, we might have to shuffle for Miss Magius here. Oh, I whiffed energy anyways. So never mind. It looks like we are not getting Miss Magius into play. Rip. Okay, we whiff. We got rope in hand, which is good. That's nice. I'll just pass. Yeah, we whiff. We can get Lunala in play next turn, though, and we can attack with Lunala, so that's looking pretty good. If Cosmog doesn't die, we can just go Lunala right away. The only problem is Lunala does not knock out Wug Trio this turn, so I actually kind of wanted to get the Miss Magius off. Ideally, it would have been better to go Miss Magius than Lunala, but honestly, it's fine. It's all Gucci. Because once we get Lunala up, like, we just, they're going to deck out, or we're going to take our prize with Lunala. If that's going to be the game plan. We're just going to try to win the game with Lunala here super quickly, I think. Assuming they don't boss me this turn. And they have Ultra Ball. And get... I actually want them another Spite Ops in play. Um, actually, no, it's fine. I was thinking it's fine if the Tarantula dies. Actually, it, it, I'd rather it die. That's why I wanted to get Miss Maggie's damage. We're not doing a whole lot of damage with the Lunala here, which is kind of the issue. I mean, they can attach to another Spite Ops, which is pretty bad. Maybe we should just miss Magius again next turn. I don't know. We'll see what my opponent does. They could start milling me. They could mill my Lunalas. We do have double Super Rod. Well, one left anyways. Okay. Just a KO. Alrighty then. Sure. Okay. We still have Countercatcher alive. We can Countercatcher trap the Rodom. Should I go Lunala? What are the odds I hit the Lunala though? If I whiff Lunala, it's really bad. I think I just go for it. I'm just going to go for it. I believe... Perfect. Look at that. I told you, I believe. Okay. I seen it not with D tier reversal energy. I believe. I told you. I told you I believed, folks. I told you. All right. What do we got? Got more stuff. Okay, cool. Should I play the Artisan? Yeah, I'll grab another Cosmog. Sure. I think that's okay. The thing I'm most scared of here is my opponent Wug Trioing away Switch and Rope. But Lunala can win me the game. I can very much win this game with Lunala here. So it's Lunar Pain. Double the damage, baby. Let's go. Unfortunately, I'm only taking out one Pokemon, but honestly, it's fine. I also kind of want to stay in range of Reversal Energy. I don't want to give my opponent Reversal, so I'm fine with this. Force them to find DT here. Now we get some prizes, which is good. I don't think there's anything really relevant in there. Yeah, level Ball Psychic, whatever. Okay. They're going back into Spite Ops, dude. Are they going to attack me with this? That's really odd they went into Spite Ops. Okay, they actually have a Raihan. That's going to be very frustrating. Please don't knock me out. Collapse Stadium, that's fine. Okay, if we get KO'd here, it's going to be pretty bad. Don't do it. Hmm. Let's see what they got. There's Bob. I was going to say, I was waiting for the Gusting card to get played. That's fine. It's a little annoying. Not the end of the world, though. They're going after Skullvit. Really? They're not trapping Bibberol? If I get DT, I can just retreat Skullvit. They don't have the, uh, the stadium in play. Okay. All right. I'm fine with that. Okay. A level ball. DT in there? They're both in there. We have rope and switch we can draw, too. I'm surprised they didn't go after Bibberol. That doesn't make any sense. All right, well, okay. Here we go. Nestash it is. Now, the downside is if I do... Ooh. I'm going to play that. 
The downside is if I take a bunch of prize with Anala, they get access to Counter Catcher, which is a little sketchy. That's one card I do want to avoid. Honestly, it could be better to just do another round of Miss Magius. Well, no, the Wookiee isn't going to die anyways. Okay, we might as well just switch into Lunala and just pray. I did just Iono them to three, so hopefully they don't have a way to counter catcher me. They do play four, though. If they're playing the list I did a video on, which it looks like they are, we could just get farmed. We're not winning this turn, but we are able to wipe out all of their Wug Trio. So they have no way to attack me this turn. We have Rope in the deck still, which once we find that, we can win. So even if they do trap Eberol, once we find Rope, we win anyways. All right, it's looking pretty good. Let's see if my opponent's got a counter catcher in their four card hand. I gave him the Iono. Carrier, okay, that's fine. We have game. Well, actually, I need energy because reversal is no longer active, but we're close. I mean, we're probably going to find energy. Very unlikely we whiff. Very unlikely with energy. We just need to find rope. Theoretically, my opponent could still win the game if they go. Okay, I don't know. That's fine. My hand didn't have anything really good in it. Just whiff counter catcher, please. Whiff counter catcher. That's all I need them to do is whiff a counter catcher. No! Dang it! Oh, that's annoying. I find rope. So I didn't bench the, the Wiglet. Because they could still win the game if they bench Wiglet here. They could have decked me out still. Okay. That's annoying. I need rope. Research it is. That is not an escape rope. Uh, we did get DT, though, which I could just attach to Bibbrel and Tree. We have a three retreat. We'll just do that, because we're now threatening my opponent to do something. Oh, I could TM Devo. I don't have game, though, if I do TM Devo. Should I just TM Devo them? Yeah, okay, we might as well TM Devo. Either we're going to win this turn, or we're going to go TM Devo. One of the two. All right. <laughs> we're either going TM Devo, or we're going to win. Let's see. Okay, we win. All right, we don't got to do TM Devo. Sick. I'd rather, you know what? Lunala's in the thumbnail, bro. Let me just leave Lunala for a game. All right, sick. Lunar Pain, that's it up. No, we know the energy! Oh, my God. I actually just threw the game. Oh, I forgot Reversal wasn't live anymore. No, what am I doing? Oh, my God. Okay, they concede anyways. Oh, I forgot the energy wasn't on the Lunala. I forgot Reversal wasn't live. Whatever, they scooped anyways. It doesn't matter. I think we were probably going to win anyways. They could have counter me again and punished me really hard because that was my last switch. All right, we are up against... Ooh, Aegislash. Alrighty then. Interesting. We're up against some kind of like anti-meta Aegislash deck. Probably a fine matchup because Lunala and Miss Magius are pretty good here. Our starting hand honestly isn't too bad. Um, we have Iono, Miss Magius, Artisan. They just pass. Should I just hold the hand? Kind of tempted to. I don't want to play Artisan and give him one, but honestly, we want them to put Pokemon in place. I don't really care. Uh, let's grab another Miss Drevis. I don't think we're going to get KO'd here, so it should be okay. I'm down to just pass. Because I have Iono Miss Magius. I might as well just hold the hand. There's no reason to. Iono, I don't think. I don't think it really matters. We can just hold the hand for a turn. Get energy on the Cosmog here for later on in the game. I want them to put Pokemon to play. So there's Artisan. We'll see what they grab with the Artisan. Another Mimikyu. All right, they're just playing some kind of Mimikyu. They're playing some kind of like wall anti-meta deck where V Pokemon can't damage them and EXs can't damage them. Unfortunately for my opponent, our deck doesn't care about that. <laughs> so it's fine. Okay, that's kind of annoying. That actually gives them more HP, which could be a problem. But they're playing Gold Dango too. Wait, what? Hold up. Gold. D I have no idea what this is. They have Gold Dango in the deck. They are cooking something up. Hey, right, maybe you have the prize check to see if TM Devo's in the deck. Actually, they're playing Gold Dango. Do they have a Gimme Ghoul here? Unfortunately, Mimikyu doesn't activate our ability, so Spiteful Magic won't be live here. I think we're gonna have to do a couple turns of Miss Magius, and I think we're gonna have to go aggressive with Lunala soon. Yeah, I think we're going to have to. Do they have anything else? More basics, please? Bench other Pokemon, I dare you. Hmm. Team Devo could be good, too, I guess. We'll see what they do. It's actually really good they didn't get an energy attachment last turn, because I don't want to get KO'd, so it's actually not bad. Ms. Magius is tanky, actually. They have that two-shot me with Mimikyu, so their Mimikyu is not really that great of an attacker in this scenario. Another Luxurious Cape, that's fine. Okay, that actually is kind of annoying. That gives them a lot of HP. The Aegislash has, what, 250 health now? Something like that? That's crazy. Thing is tanky, bro. Jeez. Okay. It's fine. Let's grab Bidoof. Let me check my prizes. Lunala's in there. Bibberol. Okay, we did prize with Bibberol. Kind of sucks. I'm just going to Iono, I think. Yeah, it's fine. Protect our resources. We're probably not getting KO'd here, so Iono should be safe. Yeah, yeah, cool stuff. Good hand. 
Got level ball. Grab another Miss Magius. Um, we may as well bench Miss Drevis again. Why not? And then we'll Eerie Voice get some more damage on the board. Let's go. Yeah, we need to spam Miss Magius. Um, if they're not attacking me with Aegis Slash or Goldengo or whatever they're playing, they're, they ain't knocking out Miss Magius. This thing is going to be very much living for two turns. If we can get a lot of value out of, like, three Miss Magius, that's good. Because then I can sweep with Lunala at the end of the game. All right, they're filling their board up now. Let's go. <laughs> My opponent just, like, loves playing against Charizard. I mean, to be fair, this deck would probably just beat Charizard. I'll be honest with you. This, this deck would probably just smoke Charizard. I'm not sure why they're playing Goldengo, though. The deck's already kind of, like, annoying. As is. I don't think they really need a Goldengo, but it is what it is. They have to build up an Eggy Slash here to really put pressure on me. Because, like, this Mimikyu's not doing enough. It's only doing 70 damage to me, and I'm getting a lot of time to just spam damage counters, which is really, really bad for my opponent. So, yeah. Looking pretty good. Do I even want another Pokemon? Honestly, not really. I might hold the hand because they have Rod and stuff. I don't really care about their hands. So I'm just going to eerie voice again. I'm not even going to bother doing... I guess I should try to work towards getting Lunala down before they kill my Cosmog. It's probably not a bad idea, but uh, for now, I think it's fine. We have Rod in hand. I want to play the Rod. We guys just hold the hand. It's like perfectly fine. We are actually going to take um, prizes very soon. We're going to be able to kill their Dewblade if they don't evolve it. Oh, they got Jock. Now, if they're playing like four Luxurious Cape, that makes things awkward. Those capes give those egg slashes like a gajillion HP, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, they have 250 health. That's a lot of health to have. And yeah, now they're building it up. See, now they can attack Ms. Magius. But when they one-shot Ms. Magius, they're going to take 80 damage, which I guess now the Luxurious Cape won't matter. I'm pretty sure. Wait, hold on. Does Luxurious Cape actually... Would I KO? Okay, would I give... Do I get two prizes for KO and Slash with Luxurious Cape on with Lunala? Knocked out by damage. Oh, I don't... Wait, does it? I actually don't know the, the ruling on that. I guess we're going to find out. I want to know if Lunala's Lunar Pain attack still activates Luxury's Cape's effect of taking two prizes. I don't know if it does. We're going to find out at some point, probably, though. Hopefully. If all goes well. Okay, I'll let's Super Rod get back the Ghosts. And then we'll Artisan. Honestly, what am I getting? Um, Another Cosmog down. I probably should... Get another Cosmog down if I can. See the Iono gives us. Okay, more stuff for next turn. I'm down to just hold the hand. I'm down to hold it again for one turn. Now see your voice. We'll just hold it for another turn. Get some more damage on the board. I don't mind not taking prizes. I kind of want to stay behind in the prize trade to keep reverse energy live, right? So I can use Lunala. I do have to hurry up and find Rare Kenny Lunala, though. I do have to hurry up and get this Rurikini Lunala into play. It's another Aegis Slash. My opponent's got all the evolutions. Oh, they're playing Avery, dude. No. That's super annoying. That's fine. We do play three recovery cards. Not the end of the world. That kind of sucks. We don't like Avery. But okay. Are they going to knock me out here, or are they going to Ghost Eye? I'd rather them Ghost Eye, obviously, so I can do more damage, but let's see if they... go are actually getting two prizes next turn, actually. Because there's a Mimikyu and a thing in play. Okay, they're switching, so they're going to take the knockout. They're going to take 80 damage here, though, which is huge. Honestly, low-key, we can just probably go Lunala next turn. If I can hit it, honestly, yeah, going Lunala here wouldn't be bad. We are doing a lot with Lunala. Maybe we just go for the Lunala, because right now, I think... Are we taking, like, five prizes with it? Almost. Huh. All right. We can knock out this, knock out this, knock out this, knock out this with Lunala. If I can actually get it. Okay, I'll Super Rod. Get these three back. I actually don't even know if I really need them as Mangus at this point, but whatever. All Artisan for Skullvet. Do I have Carrier? I do. Okay, good. Still have Counter Catcher, too. We can Counter Catcher this, maybe. Okay, I'm looking for hopefully Rickany Lunala here. Let's see if I can hit it. Nope. I have to do another round of his Magius. I don't want to take prizes. I mean, it honestly doesn't really matter, but I really want to get this Lunala. Hmm. I'll Scova Bibs. Refresh my hand. Try to get stuff for next turn. Or maybe get Rickany Lunala right off this. Nope. Bro does not want to come out and play today. All right, eerie voice, I guess. We're taking a couple prizes. Honestly, it's fine. 
It doesn't matter. We're actually, are we going to kill the Aegislash? No, Aegislash has 90 HP left. doesn't even get KO'd if, I, if it attacks me. That's crazy. That's crazy. All right, we can Lunala next turn for game. If I can just find Lunala next turn, we just win. So hopefully we can find it. Hopefully they don't knock out my Cosmog or anything like that. We'll see what they do. This is a crazy game. I don't even know what's going on. My opponent definitely has an annoying deck, but I'm not playing Charizard, so I don't really care about their deck. Again, I don't know why they're playing Goldengo. I feel like you don't need to play Goldengo if you just have Aegislashes and Mimikyu's. What's the point of playing Goldengo? But the deck definitely could be annoying if the opponent doesn't have ways to deal with these walls. The wall dot deck. All right, do they have a boss? If they kill Cosmog. We have to wait another turn. <laughs> My god, with the Averys. It's got to be Mistrevious. I think we got to go for the Cosmog no matter what. We'll see what they do. Okay. They're going to take 80. They have 90 HP left. They do survive the turn. But we have the opportunity to win the game of Lunala right here, right now. I need to get Rare Candy and Lunala. Let's do it. Rare Candy Lunala right here, right now. What's our top deck? Okay, I was actually going to Artisan to get that out, so that's pretty good that I drew that. Three candies, two Lunalas. They're in there. I just can't find them. Why don't I Yono them, get their hand down? If I whiff, I can always do star protection. We still have like two turns to try to get this. Didn't get it. Counter catcher. We'll play this. On that, sure. I'll Bibberol. If I hit rare candy, we got it. Yes, let's go. All right, we just drew into Rare Candy Lunala anyways. Insane. All right, cool. And we got the Reversal Energy activated, so we can Lunar Pain, double the damage, and wipe my opponent's Pokemon off the board. Let's go. Three prizes. I guess this Mimikyu actually survives. Never mind, my math was wrong. This thing somehow still lives, but whatever. It's like GG's anyways. That Mimikyu has got 10 HP left. That thing ain't living. All right, Lunar Pain, take our prizes. DM Devo. DM Devo. TM Devo. We got Bibberol DT. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. I just win next turn with Miss Magius pretty much if my opponent does not stop me. I don't even know if they can knock me out. Like, we have 160 HP. They need, like, a Goldengo and four energy, which I don't know if they have or not. But we should be able to win next turn. Okay, and Iono, that's fine. Doesn't really matter. They're only getting three cards here. They need. They literally need Goldengo and, like, Retrieval and enough energy. We have Miss Magius. We got the Ghost. We just need energy now to attack. Oh, they hit the Goldengo. Dude, no shot. You sacked me. Dude, did they actually knock me out here? This is going to be kind of annoying. Then I could, just, I could just win the game of Lunar Pain right here, right now. Don't do it. No. Do they even have enough energy, though? No, they only have three. They need four energy. They need energy in a, and they need energy in a retrieval to knock me out. And we need to not whiff an energy. But we are I'm not guaranteed. We have Bibril Skullvit. Like, it's looking pretty good. The odds we hit an energy are very high. Yeah, they don't got it. Okay, we just need energy to win. Easy peasy. Okay, good top deck. Should I just shuffle the deck? No, I don't think it matters. We'll spibber roll. We whiffed energy, but got Ultra Ball and Research. So we can get a Lunala out, if that ever matters. We just need an energy card off this Research, and we win the game. Should- What? I actually whiffed- Yo, no way I actually whiffed. Uh, what? Okay, honestly, YOLO. Five energy in the deck. YOLO? I'm gonna scope it. One, five energy. Honestly, it's not a big, no, no, not a big deal. No, I whiffed it, bro. I actually whiffed it. I went, dude, I drew 13 cards. No, 14 cards, right? My top deck research, dude. How did I whiff an energy? <laughs> okay, at least we have another Lunala, so it doesn't really matter. We have two in play now. That's so annoying that I whiffed, though. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy that I whiffed. No way they boss my Bibberol. Because they could boss kill Bibberol here, and I could be cooked. I think it was worth a go with Nestash. I don't even care, bro. Bring it on. They still need four energy to knock me out. So, like, they still might not even KO my Lunala here. Okay. Looks like they might have the KO. If they have another energy in their hand, they should have an energy in their hand. Good thing I got the other Rare Candy Lunala. Okay, we should 
find energy off this next Lunala. There ain't no way I'm whiffing it, right? Ooh, they had boss, too. Of course they did. They actually could have went for the kill on the Bibberl here and left me with no cards in hand. Well, I guess I would have had Skullbit. But they're not going for it. Okay, Jock, whatever, sure. Can they knock me out this turn is the question. Yeah, so unfortunately we whiffed there, bro. We had like 90. We saw like 90 cards there and we still didn't find an energy. We had five in the deck, too. That's ridiculous. So that sucks. Now my opponent might... I, I don't think they can do anything about this Mimikyu because it's probably going to get KO'd. I don't think they can heal it or anything. There's no penny they can play this turn. If they had like a penny or a Turo, we probably would have lost, to be honest. Because so I don't think I could deal with these Goldengos. I don't have Team Devo anymore either. Do they have the Knockout? Do they have the KO? They do not have the Knockout. Okay, they actually were short in energy. Look at that. Insane luck. All right. We should win. There's no way I whiff energy, right? No way. Yeah, there we go. I was like, there's no way we're going to whiff here. All right, let's go Lunar Pain. <laughs> My God. Scuffed game, bro. We were like... Oh, man. It was close. It was close. That energy was like right there. Um, We won. My opponent definitely has an interesting deck. If I was playing Charizard, I would hate to see it. But I'm not playing Charizard. I'm playing Miss Mangy's Lunala. We had some pretty cool board wiping. The Luxurious Capes were kind of annoying, though, too. All right, to end things off, we actually completed the Battle Pass here, which is pretty sick. So we might as well go ahead and redeem our rewards here we got a lot of stuff we got some alt arts a lot of packs we got we got a lot of stuff let's go ahead and redeem the rewards for completing the paldean fates battle pass let's get into it here and see what we got we got 50 coins i have so many coins like like nothing good with them credits nice we got a pikachu at deck box kind of kind of clean got an illustrator rare gardevoir nice orta lugia v i already had that we got some Paldean. We got nine packs to open up here. So let's see what we got. We got this Paldean Fates pack. Can we get any shinies to end off this battle pass with a bang? Not in that pack. All right, another pack here. Let's see. Kilowattrel. Hey, let's go. Shiny Primate. I actually didn't have one of those somehow. There you go. Yo, we got the Shiyu and the Seraluge. All right, cool. Let's see see we can get another shiny here. That was a decent pack. Yep, shiny uh, Garganaxle. Cool. I think I pronounced that right. We got Crisis Punch. Make more tar, cool. Another shiny. I already had four of those, but still, the shiny's a shiny at the end of the day. Iono versus Hollow. We got the Palafin, and we got the Goldengo. What's in this pack? Faroom, Zatu, Cyclozar. Yo, we got the Paldean Fates box. Nestball, Rabska. I think I... Do I just get a bunch of stuff I don't have yet? Yeah, Patrice, who's shiny. I didn't have that yet, somehow. Great Tusk already had that. Noivern already had that. Nimona Florida already had that, too. Clive, I already had that. Yeah, yeah, sounds about right. All right, yo, we got the Illustrator Rick Clive. That is a nice artwork. I did not have that. Cool. We got some more packs. We got a Paradox Rift pack now to open up. All righty, then. Let's see what's in this pack. Future Booster and... Ooh, Galisopod. All right. I have four of those. Cool. All right, what's in the 151 pack? Farfetch'd. Kadabra. Pidgeotto. Diglett. Wigglytuff. All right, I didn't have a fourth one of those. All right, we got an Obsidian Flames pack. Let's see. What do we got here? Barboach. Palafin. All right, I had that, though. And there you go. That's uh, the Battle Pass rewards. Look at that. Not bad, not bad. And I guess uh, now I got to... It, it feels bad whenever I complete the Battle Pass, because now I got to wait for the next set, for the next Battle Pass to come out. But for me on today's video on the Miss Magius Lunala deck again, definitely give this deck a try if you want to play Lunala one last time before Lunala does inevitably rotate. And yeah, Lunala will be rotating with Celebration, so if you want to play this fun card one last time in Standard, definitely give this deck a try. Miss Magius is a lot of fun to play. Miss Magius will stick around after rotation, so maybe it's worth trying Miss Magius out. Um, again, the only thing you really want to avoid with this deck is playing against... Uh, Iron Hands EX, just don't play against hands and you're chilling. But uh, yeah, fun deck, a lot of fun. Being able to spread damage around and double the damage with Lunala is pretty cool. And the addition of stuff like Countercatcher and Team Devo do help the deck a lot in certain matchups. And of course, Reverse Energy was a big help in this deck too. Yeah, I really enjoyed playing the Miss Magus Lunala deck one last time. I'm going to miss Lunala. One of my favorite cards from the uh, Celebration set is leaving. And that'll be for me if you enjoyed the video on a Miss Magus Lunala. Leave a like if you're new to the channel. Subscribe down below. Help me on the reaching 56 thousand subs check our comment down below if you get any codes use code ldf check out my twitch my twitter my discord and the second channel down below for some extra ldf content all that good stuff and i'll catch you on another video have a good rest of your day and bye bye